guys it's Michelle welcome to my channel grateful creations well I hope to see you guys at the food art boutique it's Mina Villegas, Mina Villegas art, Erica Hughes, Erica Hughes art, cause creations it's Kathleen Osmore, uh, Sarah Mack from Sarah Mack art, Karen Durishan from Waterfall Acrylics yours truly and Molly from Molly's artistry so anyhow I'm going to be teaching the shadow pearl pores and I have figured out how to make them work with just paint. No, there's no pigments in here, there's no color, no TLPs. I wasn't able to get it to work with the eye candy ones, but this is just paint and I just happened to be at Jerry's Artorama today and I, I thought I'd try some new colors. I've never tried Soho paints, so this is Mineral Blue, and that is one that Tracy Reed really likes. And their turquoise is more like a Viridian Green, so I'm using this color, and then I'm using these two together. And I have those two colors here, Mineral Blue. This is Mineral Blue with turquoise mixed in. And I have, this is a bunch of colors. It's uh, got a Modern Masters English brown base and I just kept adding to it. I'm sorry, I can't really give you the exact color. So I've got two canvases. One I'm gonna do as traditional pearl pour and then the other one I'm going to do the blowout. So let's get started. I'm gonna put down base and that is my pearl pour mix let me see if I can get it back in here these are gently used canvases <laughs> and we do want to do that vertical tilt you know I've been trying to do some of some other pours and I think it's because I'm so used to tilting vertically that I'm not tilting correctly on um, whoa, on some of the other pores like the, the split cups. So I'll, I'll give that a try again. I have done some cloud pores with Tracy Reed's cloud cup and it's always worked out before. So this is a mess, isn't it? It didn't really work out too well going back into the container. Got to make sure we have enough off though. There's a bubble, I got it. And we want to tilt it back so we get the cells all over and not just on the side. I'm moving that away, getting my edges here. Okay, so, ha <laughs> ha. This is going to be fun. This, what do I want to start with? I think I'll start with the brown, the mystery brown. And then the mineral blue over top of that. You can see it's reacting already. Oh, geez Louise. And then this beautiful turquoise. Gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna tilt it off now. Should I put this in? This does not have the magic ingredient. And tilt we go. So these pearls end up turning, uh, they fade into each other. It's just, it's a really cool effect. Whoa, there goes my push pin. Oh Lord, how did that happen? There we go. Okay, let me 
bring this down. Sorry, you guys can't see. And when it develops, you'll see it's, it develops. <laughs> it rarely develops. So I'm gonna put you on time-lapse and we're going to play. Hey guys, holy cells, holy pearls. One of these days I'll have to do holy mother of pearls. <laughs> I'll do that with some pigments. It's cool how they blend into each other. I love this. No pigments required. This is just paint. I did a few finger dips over here. Sometimes it helps to pull some of that paint off the excess. And uh, I'm not sure if putting that, uh, well, that's Arctic by Lucas Krill. That was another one I picked up today. I gotta stop buying paint. I've got you guys covered though. If you're coming to the uh, Del Rey, Good art boutique. Yeah, that's the only um, little tiny bit of metallic in there is the English Brown by Modern Masters. Everything else is pretty much matte and or um, opaque and transparent. So I'm loving this one. I'm gonna do the other one right now. All right, guys, we're going to do different shadow pour. I'm going to put the paints down first in a random order and then we are going to pour oh, the um, this is a little bit too thick. We're going to pour the pearl pour mix over top. I'll put the pearl pour mix recipe in the description and the secret ingredient will be revealed at the 
Fluid Art Boutique. All right, which one? Which one do I want to start? I think I'll start with this. No, I think I just do the dark colors underneath. some of this just covering the canvas a little bit with some color we can have negative space if we choose but I'm going to be blowing this out so I want lots of color All right, ooh, that looks pretty. Gotta love that turquoise. That's a mixture of turquoise from Soho and mineral blue. I mix them together to give it more of a turquoisey look, if you know what I mean. Ooh, look at their cells happening already. I haven't done any. Wow, that's cool. Oh, sorry, that was my torch. No special. Oh, that's pretty. No special um, pigments in this. This is just paint mixed with my, well, my, my secret ingredient. And see how it's doing the same thing. This is so cool. I'm going to try and get as much paint off as I can so I get an, a lot of pearls. But if I'm blowing it, I'm going to get the pearls anyway. But if I wanted to leave it, I could. One of these paints doesn't... Um, incorporate very well. That's real pretty though. La la. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. See what I mean? There's like these little, and if I try to touch it, all the paint's underneath. So it'll, oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah, I just wanna see what it does for a minute or two. So I might speed this up.
What do you think, guys? Something needs to be done up there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab some of my white. See, this is the, the beauty of this technique. You can keep going. Um, bring it over here so I don't contaminate the rest of it. Wow. Very cool. Almost looks like coral in the sea. Of course, I could change my mind. I like the brown mixed in with these blues and turquoises. Very pretty. All the colors are blending. It's so pretty. Oh, love it. Love it, love it. And I like that mineral blue. That is kind of, kind of sharp there. Thank you, uh, Tracy. All right, here we go. There. Wouldn't be a painting of mine if I didn't have a, <laughs> a finger dip. All right, this is much better. Oh, I love it. So cool. All right, I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse and let it let, uh, let you see it develop if it develops any further. We are back. Wow. Yeah, I did I did a lot to this. <laughs> I added a lot, but you know what? That's part of um, art. Adding, subtracting. I like it. This would be so pretty with um, pigments though. I love the turquoise color. Yeah, that was a win. I'm glad I blew this out again. And this is so cool. And the colors blend so well. Got a little muddy over here, but it's probably because there was brown in it. Duh. Um, but yeah, I'm liking it. I like this color combo. Sorry, I'm going too fast. Yeah, that's the only metallic is the uh, the brown. So I hope you enjoyed this. And you can do this technique without color art or little piggy pigments. You can do it just with paint and my special ingredient. <laughs> Ciao for now. Talk to you later.